Hello everybody, Ghost Gen 3 here. Today I was going to show you my Caltech PLR16 and 223, and that's what it shoots. This is AR compatible, which is a PMAG with a window. <coughs> Empty as you can see it. I check all my weapons before, so for you guys to get stressed. Look at that. 30 rounder right here. It takes any kind of air mags, the metal mags, all that. I've tried them all. Now, I'll tell you some issues on this in a bit, but thought I'd show you first and we'll go over some of the specs. <coughs> Let you look at it real quick. Pretty cool little weapon. Had it for a long time. Haven't shot it in a while. And I'll tell you why. Basically, it's got some issues, which I'm not happy about. I'm about to return it to the factory, and I'll let you guys know what happens there, too, with Celtic. Uh, they responded to me and other things, so they're pretty pretty good at that. So I'll talk to them recently, or hopefully uh, soon, a couple days, and then we'll see. What this uh, weapon is probably is having problems with is, uh, and I've tried different ammo, different magazines, is failure to feed, failure to eject. Big thing. Trust me, I've tried. I've, I've changed the ejector. I've changed... Um, <clears throat> the extractor I've changed the spring I mean I've changed so much stuff it's uh, not I didn't get anything all my changes weren't that expensive but I did change stuff um, research it did all kinds of problems other people have had problems with these too not everybody and uh, same thing you know it's like good little fun toy when it when it was shooting here and there I mean very loud probably because of the short barrel uh, the length of this whole thing is uh, 18.5 inches Barrel length is 9.2 inches. Um, <clears throat> its weight is 3.4 unloaded, and uh, it's got a twist rifling of 1.9 inches, right hand twist. Trigger pulls between 5.5 and 7.5 pounds, according to Caltech. I've never had, a, I don't have a device to measure that. Its uh, muzzle velocity is 2,600 feet per second, gas operated. And the rest of it is, you know, that a lot of people say polymer plastic. It's high impact glass, reinfor uh, glass fiber polymer. So I've never had a problem with this getting hot. Felt the barrel getting hot when it used to shoot. Um, <clears throat> here, for you guys that uh, have suppressors or in a suppressor state uh, friendly, or you can change it to a different flash hider, that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. So that's easily done. And this weapon's not too hard to take apart. I'm not going to be doing it on this video yet. I want to get it hopefully repaired first. And um, anyways, like I said, wait, feed in the magazine. Not a problem. You know, lock the bolt. By the way, last round, uh, that's just reminding me right here, the bolt will stay open. But, you know, the problem is, like I said, as soon as we put it in, you can do it manually. You can just drop it. And just next thing you know, You'll fire maybe one round if you're lucky, and then after that, failure to feed, failure to check. It's, it's just a nightmare. Um, really started pissing me off. You know how you, who likes their weapons to not work? I mean, nobody does. But it's a fun little weapon. It's got a top row right here. Got your rear sights. Not the greatest sights, but hey, like I said, it's a different type of weapon. The front's more like an AR type sight, as you can see. And <clears throat> you can adjust right here on these. Uh, on this one right here for windage and elevation up here like this is just for just like an AR sight the rear is not and here's your magazine release but like I said it's a great little fun weapon but it started having problems so I haven't shot it in a while been so busy uh, now I'm gonna get my butt to uh, hopefully take it or send it to Celtic and have them repair it and see what the problem is but I did some research on YouTube and you know a lot, a lot of people, sadly to say, I don't even like to say a lot, but a lot were having the same problems. There's a couple guys that changed different things like I did, and then theirs were fine. Mine, unfortunately, not. So uh, we'll see, and I'll keep you guys updated, do another video on this to let you know. Like I said, I was going to fire it, let you guys see it. It's a lot louder than just a straight 16-inch barrel in an AR. Obviously, because it's short right here, I mean, it throws a ball of flame like, like a freaking uh, watermelon size. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, people definitely know you're shooting something at the range, but like I said, <laughs> great little weapon. I mean, look at this. To me, right here, I mean, this you could hide this in a jacket or something for whatever reason and stuff. You know, come up forward, you know, put in an optic up here, which we did have it. I'm just kind of taking some of the stuff off just for uh, so I could send it in. Um, anyways, this is the Keltec PMR. I'm not sorry, uh, Keltec PLR 
uh, 16. They also now make the same version in a 22 version, which I think is pretty cool. So it uses all types of ARs, AR friendly, uh, AR mags, whether they're metal or not. So that's pretty cool. So there you go, my friends. Caltech PLR 16. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a really cool, cool weapon here. Click on the like button. <clears throat> See you guys soon. Take care. God bless.